Hey guys, Julie here from Julie Erin Designs. In this video, I want to share a quicker way that you can upload your designs to Zazzle. And this is kind of a new tool that they've recently introduced called the Design Transfer Tool. So I just wanted to show you how it works. So let's get started. Okay, so the way this works is that you're going to want to have at least one product created with the design. So just go ahead and create one product, any product. So this is like a seamless pattern that I've uploaded onto some wrapping paper. So on the product page itself, you're going to scroll down after it's all published and you can see down here, transfer design to a product. So you've got some options here that it's already giving you, but if you don't like any of those options, you can come here to view all products and pick any of the products there. And then it's going to transfer the design to that product and it's going to keep all of the patterning and other information. So if you've already set it up with like a name and that kind of stuff um, as a template, it's gonna transfer all of that information over into the new product. So we're gonna click on something here like this blanket. So you can see it's added the design here to this blanket. And you can also go into edit design and like change the pattern tile or do whatever you want change the size of the tiling if you want so that's looking pretty good so now you're going to click on sell it and this is probably the best part of this method is that it's going to keep the title and the description and the tags that you've already created for that previous product so what you can do is um, i mean it says wrapping paper so obviously you need to edit that but you can just basically go in and edit some of those items um, choosing a new department <clears throat> the description is fine we're going to choose another category obviously and as far as the tags they also pretty much work i might like change up a few of these that's usually a good practice is not to use the same tags over and over so then it's ready to publish okay so there we go let's see the product and here's the finished product so I think that's like a way quicker way if you've already done the work of figuring out your title and your tags and your description and then you can just go ahead and transfer the design onto all these different products. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Hopefully you can start using this tool to upload products to your store a little bit more efficiently. Leave your comment below if you have any questions. If you liked this tip, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this in the future. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers.